morning guys day nine <laughs> coordination's off there we go day nine so I noticed in the mirror a real transformation that I wish this camera would actually show uh, the camera isn't even showing what I'm seeing in the mirror. Now, either this is a bad camera or that's a trick mirror. <laughs> but I've always heard that a camera will actually add a couple pounds, so I don't know. Surely it's not true for a, for a, uh, for a cell phone, but anyway. Here I am today. Now I'll back up so you can even see my hips. Got a great readout on my hips this morning. So let's come in a little close. I'll let you look at the arms. Now I want you to see here. The one problem that I'd have was always having a whole lot of extra right here around the joint on the underside. And that is like literally starting to disappear right here. Uh, this side wasn't ever so bad. But yeah, that is the first time I've ever seen this so little. Because it always like just, I mean, yeah, I could still flap them. But for me to be able to hold my arms out like this so that my elbows are side and for this to practically be minimized I oh my goodness that that is another one of my dreams come true because I'd always wanted to get rid of that so that is beautiful uh, the side fat well this is getting bigger on me here getting loose um, I've still got this running here, but, uh, it's getting tighter. I can, I can feel my bones some in there. Uh, back. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. You see that? I didn't have that when I showed you that before. Wow. Let's see if it's on the other side. Hmm. Shadowed. Yep. Sure enough, look at that. Where'd that come from? I'm seeing body parts I forgot I had. <laughs> okay, and then here's my old stomach, which, I mean, you know, you could still see the impression of my, uh, of my exercise props but um yeah that little ring right here is starting to disappear starting to be more even with the with the waistband on my props and like see if I can get this here I noticed in the mirror as well like I had to stretch or something. I don't know what I was doing. And I noticed like it was starting to look a little slim around in here, like. And I'll show you here. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I noticed is instead of my stomach being broad, you know, like seriously even with my hips almost broadway uh it's starting to narrow it's starting to come in like this and i'm not talking about my right my waist here i'm talking about my belly pooch right here in front it's starting to narrow instead of like being out here it's now like right here it's narrowing it's getting narrow so um I had noticed I'd done that when I'd done the planks before, 
Well, unfortunately, once again, the camera didn't catch it, even though I was seeing it in the mirror. A big difference with the shape of my stomach in the front. So, uh, yeah, I'm noticing little things here and there that the camera's just not showing, but I'm seeing. Yeah. Oh, so now the exercises today, I did, I got up after nine. I slept pretty solid last night and got up after nine. It is most definitely too late for me to go walking. I wouldn't get very far without heaving from heat. So today we are going to be doing all cardio here inside the studio. Also, I'm going to be incorporating a couple moves from Denise Austin. How many remembers Denise Austin? I used to get up and exercise to her in the mornings. And if I remember right, her exercises were like at 7.30 or 8. But at the time, you know, my daughter was going to school, so I'd already be up. So as soon as I'd get my daughter onto the bus, I'd put on some clothes that I could exercise in because I didn't have gym clothes then. Uh, so I would just put on some clothes I could exercise in and um, I would work out with Den with Denise Austin So there was one particular Two particular moves that she did that I really enjoyed and it just so happens that one of the moves that she done Billy blank done too. So Yeah, this morning's going to be cardio in the house, which once again is going to be throwing my body a little off skelter. It is so used to doing some floor exercises and then getting out the door and walking. Well, this morning, my body isn't going to be doing any walking other than what's involved in the house. My body is once again in for some shock. <coughs> so, um, this morning, since we're going to be doing some cardio in the house, we've got to do some warm-ups. So, let's go on ahead and get some deep breathing in. I'm going to do, go on ahead and do a leg stretch. Uh, I've got this leg out, so I'm stretching my calf. And now for me to catch my balance. <laughs> I know normally you're supposed to do some stretches and warm ups before you do any routine. But for some reason, when I get ready to do cardio inside the house, I automatically kind of do these because this is what Denise Austin and Billy Blanks always done. So, I don't know, it feels unnatural not to do it. I'm going to have to do another painting for you all soon. I don't give very many views on the paintings. I guess people's not so much into paint. Okay. Now. I don't remember which order Denise Austin would always do. I think she always done the standing cardio and then she would do the floor. She would do the mat. And she always had a beautiful scene. She would be outside next to like a pond or a lake. So it was always a serene place. So, well, let's go on ahead and we'll just get at it. So the first thing that we'll do is knee raises. So we're going to work see which leg is it this leg we'll work with this leg 
I'm going to do two counts of eight because I haven't done them for a while. So basically like you're like this and let's see. I know the routine when I'm watching someone else. And anyway, I'm he'll come to me. If I falter, you can laugh. I don't care. It's just been a while since I've done this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Now I'm going to switch and do it two eights again. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. breath. It's been a very long time since I've worked out with Billy Blank or Denise Austin. Billy said, higher up you go with your knee, more workouts you give to your stomach. Now see, this is how out of shape I am. Even though I've been walking and I work out with the bands and push up and plank, you still, it's amazing because you think you're getting in shape. And then when you go to do something else and you realize you're not even there yet. I am greatly out of breath for doing that because that is something completely different from what my body has been doing. All right. Now, let's go on ahead and get into, I'm gonna be doing the side leg kicks. This is the move I really like from Billy. Two of eight. Already starting to get a sweat. Right. I'm gonna stand and hold this leg out, and I'm gonna like this with it, and it's gonna be two of eight. being screwed up like this. Can't find the balance. Alright. I used to have better balance, but where my shakes have gotten worse, my balance is a lot more off now.
for there, my hips. Okay. Now, go on ahead and do a move that I greatly enjoy from Denise Austin. Legs apart, almost scissor shape. And your leg, it goes back this way, got it bent slightly. And you go like this. You bring your stomach forward and hold it. So you're starting with your stomach kind of back with your hip and you bring your hip and your stomach forward and you hold it for, for like a second for one count. And you do uh, two sets of eight. One, two, three, four, As you're doing it, you be sure to hold your stomach in. Almost like you're trying to hold your stomach in to impress someone. Make them think you've got a flat stomach. So you do that. And the bonus about this move is you also work in your hips because you have to tighten them to bring your pelvis and your stomach in. So you're tightening up your hips too. So let's go to the other side. Always make sure to put your opposite leg out. Don't screw up and put the same leg out. It won't work that way. You want both sides to get some effect. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> did you see what I just did? I've done three sets on that one. I was looking at my painting here and forgot where I was at. Thinking about painting another picture that's got mountains. <sighs> Can't think of two different things at the same time. <laughs> so this side got a little bit more than this side. Maybe this side needs it more. <laughs> anyway, so now um, I won't show you the uh, the side hop kick. I won't show you that. Not today. That will be on a later segment. Okay, let's go on ahead and get down to the floor, shall we? Alright, guys. Now, yesterday I said I might would give up entirely on crunches, but this is a different form of stomach workout. It is a crunch, um, but instead of it just working like the upper stomach, it, um, uh, it kind of engages more of the stomach. So this is what we're going to do. And this Denise did, but also this was on uh, what was called the South Beach Diet only, or no, no, it wasn't South Beach. Uh, this was on, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but they, they uh, they were selling bands and they had uh, workout discs with it. Anyway, this move was on it. It was it had something to do with the beach, but it wasn't South Beach. It was something entirely different. So anyway, here we go. So you keep your legs raised like you're gonna do a crunch. 
put your hands into a praying position and you're going to do a basic crunch move but instead of like having your hands behind your back and you're only doing this part you're going to be making sure to put your hands toward your knees the higher up the more stomach you engage so let's get at it we're going to be doing uh, since I'm going to be engaging a little bit more of my stomach we'll start out with 20 count <laughs> Now, as always, when you're doing a crunch formation, don't use your neck. You keep your neck at, at a certain level. The one thing that I've learned is to stare at a certain spot on the ceiling and don't allow my neck to strain to raise my stomach. The workout's got to be in the stomach, not in the neck. If you use your neck, you can injure yourself. So focus at something up at the ceiling and keep your neck at that same angle. Don't strain your neck so you don't injure yourself. Now I'm going to do another move that was on that same disc. It was 10 minute abs. But they uh, basically the disc done <coughs> like beginner, advanced, expert band moves. But as an extra bonus, it was 10 minute abs. So I'm not gonna do all the moves on those. But I'm gonna do the next thing that I enjoyed a lot that was really difficult. So you cross your leg, you put your hands underneath your neck, and to do the lower stomach, you are going to be lifting this leg, the leg that's on the floor, this leg is going to be lifting while you hold this leg on its knee. So let's do 10 of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I actually could have done more on that. I didn't think so, but I could have. Okay, now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling it. Okay, so. Um, okay, let's go on ahead and go into the push-ups and the planks. We'll do the planks first. 25 count. Now push-ups, 25 count. are really starting to seem hard even though I've not increased them by a lot so I don't know what's up about that okay 
Let's go on ahead and do the thigh lifts and the inner thigh lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Alright. I've worked myself up into a sweat. I'm satisfied with this morning's workout. And uh, the numbers for tonight, there's some good, a little bad, but not nothing major. So overall, I'm satisfied. And I will share them with you tonight. So, I'll see you tonight. Hey guys. So as you saw this morning, I did some more of my exercises and that I'd done a bit of cardio inside instead of going walking because it was too late for me to even attempt it. As it happened though, I would have been able to walk anyway because we had a lot of cloud. So, the sun wouldn't have been beating down on me, but that's okay. Doing some cardio inside was just as good. I enjoyed them. I hadn't done those moves for quite some time, so that was nice. Um, let's see, uh, this is day nine. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, when I get up in the morning, I feel a lot, I really don't want to exercise, but then I go on ahead and go for it because I know that I'm benefiting from it. So I'm not quitting. So let's go on ahead and get right down to the goodie. Once again, I woke up at 2.14. It's fine. At least I'm maintaining for the time being. So that's a good thing. Now here's something that is really good. My waist measured in at 38 five eighths. Yesterday it was 39 and a half. That's right. It's down, it's under 39, under 39 that is a humongous drop my lower stomach though was back up to 42 and a half whereas yesterday it was 41 and 7 eighths but that's okay my hips 47 5 eighths yesterday was 48 even so my hips are down also my left leg 26 and 1 eighth. Yesterday was 26 and 1 eighth. My right leg, 26 and 1 eighth. It's, it's equal with my left leg for now. Yesterday, 
it was 26 one eighth. So my right leg stayed the same. Okay, mm. according to this, there wasn't any change in my legs whatsoever. Both of them. They were both equal yesterday and today. Okay. My left arm, 17. Yesterday was 16 and a half. My right arm, 16 one fourth. Yesterday was 16 three eighths. So my right arm was down a little bit. And my left arm, both of them. No, my left arm is up by a half inch. Okay. Anyway, I'm pretty well pleased with my measurements. I am. Um, because, you know, with me build, building muscle, like the fat can be diminishing, but the muscle is building. So, and likewise, uh, muscle weighs more than fat. So even though like the numbers are coming down in areas, um, and the scale isn't yet dropping, that is because I'm building that muscle, which is replacing that fat. So, you know, um, overall, I am so pleased. I mean, three pounds in nine days and an average of about a half inch roundabout. So, so, so. Uh... I mean, not entirely a half inch, but close to roundabout. Anyway, so yeah, I'm very pleased with what it looks like now on day on day nine. Day nine. Uh, what I've ate today. Uh, this morning I had a breakfast burrito and water. No coffee. No chocolate milk. And then later I had two grilled cheese sandwiches with the cream cheese and pimento spread and a mini can of soda. And then I had a big green bowl of cereal. And um, a probably about a cup of popcorn so that has been what I have ate today um, that's really not much is it and yet I'm feeling like I ate a lot but no I hadn't Wow sometimes you can be amazed when you actually speak it out just how well you've done or how bad you've done uh, you might think that you've done excellent and you go naming off what you ate and you just it seems like your list doesn't end. Then other days you can feel like you've done really horrible and when you list what you ate, you find that you really didn't eat at all. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased about it. No complaints here. Um, I really don't have much more to say. I had said a whole lot this morning in the start of my video when I was getting ready to exercise, so um, I'm just I'm tickled with how things are going, and this just being day nine, I am very anxious to see what it's going to look like by Saturday, which will be day 14. Um, how low were the number? How low will the numbers be? How much will I weigh? I mean, I'm just, I'm very anxious to find out what Saturday is going to show. I mean, I know that every day I'm measuring and weighing and but still it's kind of like saturday is a um 
kind of tidying it up, so to speak. Just throwing it all together, like. I don't know. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see what I look like by Saturday. See how much further down we can go. Hopefully, I can get this lower part back down under and continue dropping. So, I appreciate you and I love y'all. Have a great night.